also seen yellow signs that showed pictures of the women's auxiliary and their peaceful demonstration on the tracks exercising their First and Second Amendment rights and were pulled off those tracks and two of our brothers stood in solidarity with them. Those brothers are currently facing some major crimes. One of them happens to be facing 11 charges for standing up for his First and Second Amendment rights. These same struggles cross all boundaries here today. Look across to each, each one of us. We are in a fight. Our fight happens to be in Longview, Washington, and I guarantee there's some people in here that may not know where Longview, Washington is. But I'm going to tell you what, Longview, Washington happens to stand at the epicenter of one of the biggest labor fights that's happened in a long time. And 230 plus members of a small local, Local 21, proud members, have fought for many, many months, to, you know, to protect our jurisdiction. You know, I walk around in these green pants when I work, and these green pants haven't come off in seven months. It's got a lot of pockets. In my pockets, I always carry a contract book, which happens to be with the Port of Longview. In here, it explicitly states what our contract is with the Port of Longview. EGT, a multinational corporation, has chose to not honor this contract. EGT, a multinational corporation that in 2001, I believe, SEC filings was filed under Bermuda law. Their CEOs fall under Bermuda law. Their taxes fall under Bermuda law. Where are they from? This is not, this is inherently the problem that's going on in this country, and I know that every one of you know this, and that's why we fight. And we will continue to fight. When I came here today, it was because I believed in one thing, the right to your first and second constitutional rights, to stand up for what you believe in. And some of you here also believe in those first and second amendment rights. And all we ask is that we will exercise those first and second amendment rights. And my president, who spoke in Portland yesterday, mentioned a few things, and I know that Mike touched on them. And when this day comes, we will ask that we will peacefully demonstrate for our First and Second Amendment rights. And hopefully, there are some of you in here today that still feel the same way. And maybe we look forward to you being there on that same day. And I'll tell you what, if you don't know where Longview is, I'll be more than happy to draw you a map. Because, uh, I got another book that I carry in my pocket. It's called the Union Workers Bible, Special Self-Esteem Edition. <laughs> In this book, there's some great quotes, Abraham Lincoln, Woodrow Wilson, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower. Throughout this book, it talks about union, but there's one section in this book, how to get along with others. <laughs> and if you don't mind, I'd like to just read them off just quickly and, we'll, and, I'll, and I'll leave it at that. Look at and really listen to others when they speak. Don't be thinking of what you are saying or going to say. Be sincerely enthusiastic about the good fortune of others and genuinely sympathetic to their ill fortune. More than anybody in this group in here, I'm sure there's many that know ill fortune. And that's why we're protecting the communities, we're protecting the ill fortunes that we are facing in this country today. Thank you. Don't criticize or speak ill of others. You heard about okay, I'm not going to We're not going to talk about okay. Be friendly to all people. Prejudice of any type is malignant disease that ends up hurting yourself. Be optimistic about the future. Be considerate. Never serve your personal needs by sacrificing the welfare of others. Help willingly when called upon. When called upon. Offer your assistance when needed without waiting to be called upon. And finally, do unto others as you would have done unto you. So uh, I thank you for this opportunity to come in here. Thank you for all this solidarity. Thank you for the money that you've donated. It's going to a great cause. We are on a picket line 24-7. We pay for heat. We pay for a lot of things with that money. It goes and it does a lot, and we thank you. Thank you.